Hi, my name is Rich Sturborg from Duke. I'll be presenting interface design for crowdsourcing hierarchical multi-label text annotations. First, a little bit of context of the long-term project we're working on. We are interested in vaccine misinformation, which might cause people to become reluctant towards getting vaccinations. That is drive up vaccine hesitancy. The goal of this project is to help provide better information to people through potential interventions in order to mitigate the effects of misinformation on people's choices regarding their own health. One helpful thing to track to support this goal would be the types of concerns that people have. You can imagine this might be helpful if you, for example, wanted to track how concerns might evolve over time during a potential global health crisis. That would have been a really nice to, system to have had developed pre-COVID-19, for instance. So some public health work has therefore suggested various sets of labeling uh, that would be useful to track. We're following one such work, Vax Concerns, which is a taxonomy of concerns and misinformation regarding vaccines. Taxonomies or concepts, hierarchies, ontologies are used in many applications and generally serve to help organize and structure both language and thought around a topic. We find that they might help us think through problems. And very specific task we're interested in here is to label a given passage of text identified as vaccine misinformation, whether a tweet, paragraph from an online blog, whatever, to label that text with the concerns that the passage raises. Uh, and that leads us to a fairly simple question. How should we collect this data? We know that we want to use crowdsource workers in order to scale up data collection to something useful, but it's important that they give us good data. That's not so straightforward because this is a difficult labeling task. Figuring out what argument a text is trying to make is difficult and subjective. And now add in the fact that vaccine misinformation text can often be hard to parse, you know, think rambling, incoherent ideas but also might use highly technical language. And so the taxonomy is fairly large, not overwhelmingly so, but our first intuition was that showing the whole taxonomy to labelers might cause some higher relative cognitive load, given that they have to process the information of the hierarchy and then hold that in their memory while they're annotating. One option is binary labeling where we show annotators a passage and ask a single binary question of whether, let's say, 3.2 in the taxonomy, the harmful ingredients, should that be selected? And then we ask another question like that for the next label in the taxonomy and so on. And this becomes prohibitively expensive fairly quickly since annotators will very often see negative examples and they're forced to read through the text several times. Another idea is to use the hierarchy itself to help crowdsource workers label the task. We can show the hierarchy to them explicitly, or we can have them label in multiple passes using the information on their labeling from one level of the hierarchy to decide which labels to collect, lab uh, to collect data for in the next level. This type of labeling scheme uh, sometimes called multi-pass hierarchical multi-labeling, has been shown pretty ineffective in other tasks. One important distinction, however, is that many of those tasks are easy. Object detection in images, recognizing the noise made in small audio clips, our tasks is difficult for the annotators, so maybe the hierarchy can help improve their reasoning in the first place. We consider three ways to perform passes and three layouts for presenting labels to the workers. Some of the combinations are invalid and we ignore binary labeling due to its high cost. That leaves us with six different labeling schemes to compare. And one thing to point out here is that we label some data within the research team and go through an extensive process to make sure that those labels are correct. During that process, we iteratively come to an agreement on the final label and record at what stage that agreement occurred. We use that stage as a proxy for how difficult a certain passage is to label with a certain code from the taxonomy. This label data becomes our ground truth and we use it to evaluate whether the annotations by crowdsource workers are correct or not. 
the labeling pipeline is done through Amazon Mechanical Turk. Um, so let's look at a selection of the results. In raw comparisons, we see that performing hierarchical passes led to the best trade-off between precision and recall, with the crowdsource workers achieving an F1 score of about 0.56. Note that these are relatively low values of precision and recall, just one indication of how difficult this task is and why it's so important to investigate these interface designs against one another. Generally, we see that labeling schemes which use the taxonomy structure outperform those that do not. In a head-to-head -head comparison where we either give the workers a random subset of the labels to annotate or give them a subset which are all immediately grouped together within the hierarchical structure, the latter outperforms the former. Grouped has an F1 score of 0.5 versus randoms 0.34. By collecting multiple copies of annotations, we have a crowd of workers vote on the final label. Adjusting this voting threshold can help balance the trade-off between precision and recall by lowering the sensitivity. So at a majority vote, two out of three votes, the labeling scheme, a single pass hierarchical multi-label uh, that labeling scheme wins out with a final F1 score of 0.7. We also perform a multiple regression analysis and a few investigations into what factors might be contributing to the differences in annotator performance across these labeling schemes. These investigations are further detailed in the paper. And some conclusions for this study is that integrating hierarchies into the labeling task seems to help in various configurations for data labeling. We believe that this comes down to three indirect causes. They group similar classes together. They disproportionately increase annotators performance on difficult passages versus easy passages and hierarchical passes boost the frequency of positive examples thereby replace or thereby rebalancing the classes during labeling we recommend considering incorporating hierarchies for annotation of difficult hierarchical multi-label tasks if you're solely trying to maximize annotator performance towards an f1 score then we recommend using single pass hierarchical multi-label scheme for this task in particular.